One of the most contested political races in the March 1st primary here in Texas is now the Democratic runoff for the 30th Congressional District. Our political reporter Jack Fink spoke with both the candidates for you. So, Mr. Fink, what are they saying about this pretty crucial next phase of the race? Well, Doug, Jasmine Crockett and Jane Hope Hamilton criticized each other today over what has become a key issue in this race, TV ads by two independent groups. And as they work to get their supporters to vote in the May 24th runoff, they also discuss their priorities. I am the right candidate for the right time. We were winning this race when we got into this race. We're going to win this race at the end of the day. We're Jasmine Crockett, a state representative of Dallas, and Jane Hope Hamilton, a former congressional staffer who's been active in running campaigns, are now making their case to voters in the 30th Congressional District. They will decide who they want to succeed Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, who's retiring at the end of the year when her term ends. Hamilton points to her years fighting for voters behind the scenes. I have a record, a proven track record. So jobs, justice, health care, education. Crockett says before she decided to run for Congress and was elected as a state lawmaker, she served on the board of MetroCare, the largest provider of mental health services in North Texas. You know, I think it's just that legacy of service, actually giving, not necessarily looking for a paycheck, but actually giving to the people. Crockett says she's focused on high gas prices, inflation, and the war in Ukraine. Hamilton says she wants to expand health care for the poor, pass police reform and increase federal spending for public schools. When politicians lost one issue that's emerged in the campaign is the more than 1.6 million dollars that two PACs, Web3 Forward and Protect Our Future, spent on TV ads on Crockett's behalf. You are hard pressed to find that example anywhere in the state of Texas or in North Texas for two million dollars to essentially be poured in by Two super packs. You're always critical when you don't have what you want. So I don't look at it as if it's anything nefarious. It's sad that someone would insinuate that it is when this is really how elections work. Crockett says she has complied with the law and has not coordinated or communicated with those PACs. The winner of the Democratic runoff will face the winner of the Republican runoff, either James Harris or James Rogers, in November. The 30th con Congressional District remains solidly Democratic and is expected to remain so. Mr. Dunbar, back to you. Long road ahead. Mr. Fink, we appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, sir.